since the foreign ministers of France, Italy, Cyprus, Greece and Egypt have criticized Turkey's decision to send troops to Libya, the ministers spoke in Cairo on Wednesday after holding a meeting to discuss the deteriorating security situation in Libya. Here's Yasser Hakim with more. The top officials of the five countries have been deliberating on how to deal with the crisis in Libya. We're meeting today to help support the political path and make it a success in the next few weeks through our strong will. This path will be based on Libyan-Libyan dialogue that will cover all aspects, political, security and economic, in cooperation with Ghassan Salama. The foreign ministers have issued a statement denouncing the military intervention by Turkey. In Libya, Ankara's actions constitute a serious threat to regional and European peace and stability, and they foment the rapid conflagration of the Libyan conflict. The two memorandum of understanding Turkey recently signed with the president of the GNA in Libya form part of Turkey's regional ambitions. They clear, clearly violate the UN arms embargo in Libya, as well as other important instruments of international law. We must seek to help Libya achieve peace. But this is not a stance taken by Turkey, which destabilizes Libya. Turkey provides constant support to known extremist groups and militia. Some of them are on the terrorist lists of the Security Council and have been for years. The envoys have also agreed on the importance of the upcoming Berlin conference. We have expressed our support to the Berlin conference to take place soon. We expressed our full backing to a political solution, working with envoy Ghassan Salama and the Libyan talks sponsored by the United Nations and the African Union. Prior to their talks, the foreign ministers had met with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the Egyptian head of state, insisted on the importance of creating peace and stability in neighboring Libya. The diplomatic activities are in full flow to bring an end to the conflict in Libya. Now all hopes turn to the Berlin conference later this month to achieve peace in the stricken North African nation. Yas Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.